New here at three, a group of Tampa dancers just received some really huge news. They've been invited to perform on their favorite TV show, but they're not going to be able to do it alone. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us why they are asking for the community's help. Inside an old banquet hall off of Hillsborough Avenue, every week, 40 girls, ages 4 to 18, strut, glide, and drop to the music. They are the prancing dancerettes. This building is a safe haven for the girls to keep them off the streets with all the violence going on in the world. Being on this team, it really like showed me a lot, like, you know, how to carry myself, how to build up my confidence. We have friends, we have sisters, we like a family. Head coach Sandra Walker said they've won a lot of competitions over their 15 year history, but the opportunity awaiting them in July would be their greatest accomplishment yet. This will be a first time for these girls to compete on TV. The Prancing Dancerettes were one of 50 dance teams across the country invited to perform on the reality show, Bring It. This is a blessing for us. We have worked very hard. It's just something that I always watched when I was little, so like that's why I really want to go there. It's going to be fun because I always wanted to be famous. But the team isn't going to make it to Jackson, Mississippi on talent alone. They need to raise $5,000. We have inner city youth girls, their parents on fixed income. We do car washes, we do bake sales, we do um, donut sales. The Prancing Dancerettes have also started a GoFundMe account. They say performing on the show would open up opportunities they once only dreamed of. We'll put us on a map, like we'll be very known. Yeah, <laughs> very known. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.